Hello and what's up everybody, Apple Watcher here back again with another video about Django and in this video we are going to create a post um, detail view and also we are going to create a post <coughs> update view and then in the next video we are going to make the front end for them this time we are going to handle the back end and a little, a little bit about the front end and the uh, the back end as well and if this is the first time you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post about uh, Python and Django most of the time, and also helping uh, developers, uh, also beginners, uh, with uh, Python. So let's just get started. Um, the first thing, so previously we've made the create, and we also made the list view. This time I'm going to be calling the, uh, also using class views, so I'm going to be creating a post um, detail view and this is going to be um, inheriting from our generic views here that we are importing so I'm going to come up here and then call the detail view this one and just like that I'm going to put the comma there so I don't forget the next time so this is inheriting from the detail view itself here now I'm going to come up down here and as for the detail view you actually have some kind of uh, you are taking all of your data from a query set and that query set is going to be um, so let's call it uh, this here query set is equal to and it's going to be called from the post uh, module model sorry from the post model and it's going to be post dot objects dot all just like that and after this I'm going to also filter all of the post uh, based on the time that have been uh, posted so we don't want the posts that have been in the future because that may, might be posts that were set there to be as a draft so we don't want them to be uh, shown in our application so I'll do filter then I'll open uh, some parentheses and then I'll say created underscore date uh, and this is uh, the trick uh, LTE and, that, and this uh, underscore underscore LTE means um, less or equal to less or equal to the following thing that I'm going to be saying less or equal to so the created date is going, it has to be less or equal to time zone dot now so based on the time zone of the user of our app and once we we already have time zone um, uh, imported here so make sure you, you have that and now what I'm going to be doing uh, I will come down here and all think about all the posts have been inside of the application and the home page we want to select that specific post so we are going to be call, calling a function called get objects so and it's also a part of this uh, uh, class uh, detail view the details view class so get object is a part of it so get underscore as you can see already giving me all of these uh, functions that I'm going I can call so I'm going to call uh, get object and get object takes the instance which is itself and I'm going to come down here once I've done that I will be creating uh, an ID and the ID is going to be equal to the, uh, the uh, I'm going to be setting the ID of the the ID of the post like this is just a variable I'm going to sign it to the, to the ID of the post so I'm going to be calling um, self uh, keywords as uh, dot get and then inside of here I'm going to call like the ID like give me the ID 
and after this uh, I need to retain um, something so I'm going to be retaining the actual post so here uh, I'm getting the ID and now I want to retain that to my template so I will do return and this one yeah, I'm not sure if I have called this okay I haven't called it yet so I need to be calling the uh, get object of 404 so I'm going to be calling get object of 404 from here so if it gets the object based on the specific ID it's going to show it to my template if it does not get that object but it's going to be saying that it's going to be giving me an error and also make it much easier then uh, later on we don't get crazy errors so like we will know specifically from which uh, function that we are getting so uh, let's continue with that and I will also show you uh, how, how is this working in the background later on by specifically making an error so if you if you get that kind of an error so you know where is it coming from alright so now uh, I will call that function get object of 404 and after that I will I will make this and then so it's taking from the post uh, model from the post model and give me the ID is supposed to be equal to ID underscore because we are uh, we are taking it from the the dot uh, get function because we are using the dot get function. With all that being said, I think by this our template is, is done. But we just need to add one more thing, just like how we added here. We set template name is equal to blah blah blah. So I'm going to just copy that and paste it right here. But then I'm I'm going to change this from post create to post detail. detail.html I'm going to save this now I'm going to go to my templates and then I will create insta here and then I'm going to create a new uh, file a uh, new file so I'm going to say post underscore uh, detail dot html and now I get this uh, view now I want to take some some stuff from this view here I'm just going to copy here copy this control C and I will go back to my detail view I'll paste this here because I, I need those thing uh, I don't need the crispy I don't need crispy forms I need block content but uh, I also don't need those guys here now basically I just need the base HTML and what I am going to be calling is the uh, what do you call that? Uh, post. I'm going to say post. Uh, not doing that. Uh, let me call a p tag. Not a p tag. I'm going to make an, an image. And the source of the image, as we uh, did this uh, much uh, earlier before, we did uh, this kind. Uh, so we will say. Uh, like that here. Post dot image dot URL like that, and also here I'm going to be calling the uh, what do you call the uh, p tag. Let me put that in the p tag, and inside of here I will have post dot author all of this and just somewhere down here I will have another p tag and inside of this p tag I'm going to have uh, post dot caption and with all that being said let me save this I need to map everything to a URL so I'll be calling my URLs.py from here and now I'm going so I, I called the create view last time so this time I'm going to be calling post um, detail view and just similar thing to this so oops what have I done uh, control Z and let me get down here so it's going to be path open here and then I'm going to call this as uh, 
Be uh, this time because we are going to have a uh, detailed view so it might we could only say something like this so because we are going to be passing we are going to be passing the specific uh, ID of the the specific ID of the post so it's going to be um, an integer int and also here and then that integer is an ID, is an ID. just like that and here I'm just going to do the same thing as put here so post uh, detail view dot as view like that and then the name is going to be equal to post underscore detail that's it let me put a comma right here let me save this now uh, my server is running let's go and see uh, what is going on here and if I come up here and then I go to let's say 3 oops like that as you can see now I can see the this is my detailed view but then the, the picture is too big let me, let me just go and change that a little bit uh, here with my detailed view so I'll just say Mm. let's say height is equal to 200 wait um, last time I put height is equal to 640 let's say save that go back uh, here my fish a little bit smaller and you can see my name here uh, as for the username and also the post right there and if I go to 4 I will get a different post as well so now now here is going to come up when I, when I told you about if I have uh, an error so if I give this like 15 you see I get an error that's why because I don't have a I don't have a post or an image that have an ID of 15 so what is going to be saying no post match the query, the given query. So, th because the query set is this is this is my query set. Where's my? So in this query set, that means we don't have a post that have an ID of fifteen. That's why we get that error. That's why you will, we will know that we just need to fix something in this. Uh, so the error is coming from this uh, function or class. All right. With all that being said, let's continue with our Let's continue with the what have I just said? I said the update view. Well, the update view is needs a lot more work than this one. I believe that I will make another video on it, and then I'll be posting it like the following day, so that you don't get messed up with the things. Because in the update view, we need to work with our forms. .py here, so I want to keep it um, consistent. So the update view will be in. Uh, another video so this one I will put the name as only update um, detail view. I hope this was a helpful explanation let me know what do you think and in the next video as I just said, told you we are going to be making update view and also we're going to make uh, a front end for this one let me know what are your thoughts on this if you haven't subscribed please do already and turn on the notification and if I make another video you will get notified the first time I do so. With all that is said, thank you so much and goodbye.